Hello, this is a gross specimen of a kidney that has been bivalved and the proximal ureter. Let's turn this around and we're looking at the capsular surface of the kidney. This is the hyla fat. Sometimes we may get some lymph nodes in this region and again the proximal ureter. The obvious abnormality here is the presence of a tumour that is involving most of the renal pelvis. So we can see a little bit of uh, residual uninvolved renal pelvis here. It does appear to be somewhat dilated, possibly due to obstruction by the tumour. And in this instance, the tumour appears to be very papillary or frond-like, grossly. Again, we can see that the fronds are protruding into the renal pelvis. This is an example of urothelial carcinoma involving the renal pelvis. Epithelial tumours in the kidney usually arise from two main sources. They can arise from the renal tubules themselves, such as renal cell carcinoma, and they can also arise from the renal pelvis or the pelvic callicial system, and these are urothelial carcinomas. Urothelial carcinomas used to be known as transitional cell carcinoma because they arise from transitional epithelium. So if we are looking at urothelial carcinomas, uh, there's actually two main types, the non-invasive and the invasive. So non-invasive uh, usually have a papillary frond-like architecture like what we are seeing here, and they can be low grade or high grade. And you can also have a flat carcinoma in situ where there is just a flat layer of malignant cells that have not invaded into the lamina propria. Invasive urothelial carcinoma may also sometimes have a papillary architecture. So here is actually an example of a urothelial carcinoma which does have a papillary architecture. You can see these finger-like fronds here covered by epithelium, but at the same time, this tumour happens to be invading into the wall as well. And this is an example of a bladder carcinoma. Clinically, these patients may present with hematuria. There may be some accompanying flank pain as well. And interestingly, on imaging, the actual outline of the kidney, as you can see here, is actually more or less normal. And the picture would actually be a little bit different if this were a renal cell carcinoma where the kidney itself would be more distorted. So in summary, this is an example of a case of urothelial carcinoma and this is papillary urothelial carcinoma arising in the renal pelvis. We would need to examine this microscopically in order to ascertain whether or not there is an invasive component.